Hello, everyone, and welcome to the live trading room recap for Wednesday, July the 13th. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of the trading room. It is a free room. You don't have to be a member of Trade Ideas to join us. I share my screen all day long, and I'm live on the mic between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Sorry about that. I had a, uh, <laughs> a coughing attack there. So, anyway, here is a uh, link you can use to uh, take out a subscription to Trade Ideas. And when you copy and paste this link in, you'll notice you'll get a promo code for instant savings. All right. Well, today was a completely and utterly different day from yesterday, in my opinion. Um, you know, yesterday we had a lot of stock, even though the market was up, we had a lot of stocks with great continuation. Holly was absolutely on fire. Let me just show you Holly today. First of all, not as many trades, excuse me, not as many trades. Um, but here is the, here is the, the like the, the important point to notice about Holly. I mean, yesterday, you know, it's fine when the market's up and everything is moving, trending in the right direction. Sometimes it can it look incredibly easy to make money. And yesterday was one of those days. It was a lot easier to make money yesterday. But you know, in a day where it's kind of chopping around, let's see how what Holly did. Well, Holly had has had right now one, two, three losses. All right. Now only one of them though. This was a stop hit, so it actually got stopped out. But look at what happened in the other ones. Reduce risk, reduce risk. Here were the stop out areas, 48.28 from 48.84. Uh, notice it only took a 14 cent loss instead of allowing it to go all the way down there. And the same thing here, 77.90, the, 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 uh, the stop was 77.33. But Holly in both, both of these cases, and maybe after seeing this one, it's possible because this is the same sunrise mover, sunrise mover, sunrise mover. So make sure of that. Yeah, it's possible then, you know, Holly looked at this and said, you know what, this, this one is not working that well. So instead of, you know, letting it run, run its course and taking out the stop, we're going to reduce risk. And this is, this is the, I mean, this is sort of the evolution of Holly really, uh, in that kind of thinking through, 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 through the process of just because we've got these official stops and we have time stops, you know what? I'm seeing that this is maybe just not working that well, so I'm going to get out of it now. And so this is what Holly can do. You know, it's not just all about uh, making making money on the upside. It's also protecting uh, losses on the downside. So Holly did a really good job. Now, look at the other trades. I mean, the other trades have worked out very quite well. Uh, again, this is a very choppy, choppy uh, day. And, you know, I mean, here's one, uh, AEM. This is, a, I guess, it's a gold stock. You know, it uh, Holly took the profit out, and I was watching the gold index. It was moving up and down, so this is why Holly took the early profit. But notice how this has moved since then. Uh, STRP. I don't know what STRP is, to be honest with you. And this is a new one, quarterback. I'm not 100% sure what what this is looking for. But notice though that I mean, Holly has performed extremely well t uh, on a very difficult day, minimizing the losses and you know taking small gains in some of these, but also uh, looking at this uh, risk on profit, which used to be the non-exit profit column. You can see that a lot of these continue to move even after the uh, the profit was taken. So very impressed with Holly today. Now, um, Stamp was the one that really uh, we were looking at. A lot of us in the room were looking at. This is probably my. This was well, okay. The first trade was uh, actually Mick M I K. Uh, didn't turn out to be a too bad a trade. Saw this in the pre-market uh, on its way down. Uh, they did a secondary offering, 11 million shares. Uh, nobody likes to see that. So. You know, existing shareholders are getting diluted. So what happens is, of course, the stock moves down. So uh, we were looking to short this one. Uh, Real brought it up to our attention. Uh, you know, probably around this area. I took the short at uh, 2701. Uh, made some modest gains in it as it moved down. Uh, so uh, covered some at 26, 2666 and 2665. But my advice actually is uh, looking at the daily chart. Perhaps follow this. Follow this. I have, actually, I have an alert right here to see if it can break today's high and may, perhaps fill this void. Once the news of the, you know, the dilution, the 11 million shares gets uh, digested a little bit more. They did all, all also lower guidance, so, so that, you know, that might pr uh, prohibit uh, any sort of a, a bounce back. But a lot of times when we see these uh, secondaries, 
as long as it's not for a reason that you know they're running out of money and that that and so they've got to raise cash by doing a secondary. If it's for other reasons, expansion, um, you know, whatever, um, then you know sometimes you just watch them, watch the uh, uh, stock for about a week, and then you and then you can see that maybe it starts to uh, uh, recover that gap. So I've I've got my alert set 2747. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, we just move on. So stamp was the other one we were looking at, and on the daily you can see this has been just crushed. I think. I think this is the news that uh, United States uh, Postal Service it will no longer be using stamp uh, stamp.com so that of course devastating news for the company it, it uh, but yesterday look what happened with it and you know I missed this uh, a lot of this rally um, you know it started to fall again on the news and also had a huge rally from 77.52 all the way up to 81 uh, almost 82 dollars it's a massive rally and these are 15 minute candles and very little you know no, no very, very easy trade from here all the way up to here there's the first uh, bottoming tail you get so very very easy trade so of course when we saw this action today not that and it looked very similar to this action yesterday you know it doesn't necessarily mean you were going to have a, a pop had the day been a little bit different we might have had a pop like that but at any rate, I tried this twice. Um, got in at uh, 75.17, uh, 75.18 the first time, and traded it right out at 75.25. Uh, 75 uh, the spread got really crazy. Watched it again and got back in right here, right here at uh, 75. Let's put a mark here, 75.18. And sorry, it was 75.17 able to sell some out got rewarded on this one uh was able to sell some out right here at 7580 and got a little excited here thought maybe it was going to break through 76 it just didn't happen and sold the balance out at uh, 39 7539 on the way down um maybe on a different day a uh, day with more follow through uh we may have had not necessarily a $5 rip but maybe you know up to this level but not a bad trade, but a uh, very difficult one. Now, here is one where I got extremely lucky. Ophi. What's it doing right now? Yeah, I got very, very lucky on this one. Another one that was uh, hit hard. I actually uh, made a mistake. I, I didn't, for some reason, I didn't think I would have shares to short on this one. Didn't even try. A couple in the room were, were doing it. And, um, and uh, you know, after the fact, I realized I did have shares to short. So now, though, I started watching for a bit of a bounce. And notice, I mean, here's here here we are at 17. Uh, it was pretty tight range for quite a while. I mean, this is only this is only down to 1681. But remember, this is a 15 minute candle, so you know, pretty tight range for almost an hour. And then it finally popped up to. I think I got in at 1713. I made a big big order entry mistake. Took way more shares than I thought that than I uh, normally would take just by a, say an order entry mistake, and was very very fortunate to uh, to trade it out at 1728 and then ba basically back where I bought it at 1713 and look what happened right after that uh, it's it's down here so uh, very fortunate uh, to uh, escape on that one and let's see RNVA was another one that we tried earlier on in the day uh, this came from the low floaters. Uh, had high hopes for this one. Waited a long time. Here was the initial pop. I watched this pullback. Waited a long time for this one. Again, on the low floaters on the move. Take a look at how many shares are in the float. Move this over here. And this was a fairly early one as we were really starting. Uh, well, this is actually one. This is one I, I, I actually tried originally, FNCX. It just didn't work. FNCX, it popped up. Uh, here was the alert at 35 cents. I got in at 38 cents, right around here. Um, and it now I know it, it hit. Uh, this was a pullback. I was looking at a little bit of a pullback play, and it didn't work. And I got out at 36 cents. Uh, so that was a bit of a loss. Sometimes, though, these can just keep running and running and running. So, you know, took a two cent loss on it. So that wasn't too bad. So the next one, though, was RNVA Came at 941. And the alert was at 57 cents, so right, right about in here, right about here at 57 cents, right there was the alert. Watch it go up, 
and then the pullback. And so I was bound and determined again to watch this one, keep watching and watching and watching, and finally got rewarded a little bit. I, uh, on this break here, took the trade at uh, 64 cents, had the nice little pop up, uh, and I got out at 70 odd cents, I think it was 72 cents. And then as it fell back down, I basically covered flat for the, for the last little bit. So, uh, so it fizzled out. Looking at the daily, I uh, was really not thinking it was going to run that much. I thought maybe we, we would get some resistance uh, in this area. But, you know, I had enough shares that had it gone here, would have, it, I mean, it, it was okay. I, I took a few, sh few uh, more shares and maybe I normally would have taken uh, based on the pullback, thinking that it was going to hold. So all in all, it was still a good trade. But it really didn't uh, pop through that 80 like I was hoping it would, and then maybe even challenge that dollar. So a couple of the little ones that just didn't uh, uh, work like the other ones have worked. Now, here is one. I missed it completely, but I know a lot of people were in this room, uh, in the room here. Look at this daily. Let me get to a 15-minute. I, I actually have some, some uh, major problems with Adobe Flash uh, crash uh, crashing on me, Adobe uh, Flash crashing. I was having trouble with Omnovia, and so uh, at the beginning of the of the day, I was really not quite into it, and I missed this one completely. The CNR is too bad. The alert was at 157, so the alert was right on this candle here, 157. Look what it did. It popped all the way up to 330. So that was a big miss for me. It got halted a couple of times, and then, you know, then the utter collapse, but uh, so that was that was really the miss. I did I did post it though on Twitter. Uh, you know, again, as some of the things that a lot of people in the room were able to take advantage of. This is such a great little window. Uh, again, FNCX didn't really work, and this one worked modestly, but this one really worked well. All right. Um, oh, the only other one I want to is um, TWER TWER not working that well. Uh, not in it. You know, this is one that popped yesterday over $3. Uh, big, big pop. Uh, and then this morning again, it popped over 3 And then it tried again. Now, somebody said that there was a disclosure of some, I don't know if it's a fund or an individual, uh, just slightly under 10% stake in, in this company. Now, this is one that's had a big uh, reverse split. So... Uh, this is why the only reason I, I'd be at all interested in this is that because of the reverse split, it only has two, two and a half million shares in the float. And sometimes, just sometimes, these things can really, really run. Especially if they get news, you know, if they start uh, putting out some PRs, these things can really run. So uh, I, have, I have a bunch of alerts here. The major one, though, at three. And if it, uh, goes, it, if it gets to three, uh, I'll certainly be interested. It look, doesn't look like it's going to happen today. Uh, but you never know. Now this is coming down. I don't see a big volume candle there, so it's it's coming down on on light volume. So anyway, we'll have to see. I would just uh, if you have the uh, price alerts, I would just put an alert at three. And uh, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, you just move on. All right. Well, everybody, thanks very much for listening. I'm going to close this down again. Here's how to get into the room. And I usually open the room at about quarter to nine. That's when I start to uh, share my screen. Excuse me, I start to share my screen at about quarter to nine, and I'm live on the mic between nine and four. And don't forget, uh, check the body of this, um, uh, in the text of the YouTube video, you will see there's also a link for our, excuse me, I guess we're, we're calling our open house next week. Full access to trade ideas, uh, all the real, like real-time trade ideas, plus all of our premium Stuff, which includes Holly, our AI strategies, everything for $7.99. You can try us out for one week. That's Monday to Friday next week. All right, thanks for listening, and I hope to see you in our trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.